edition of uh, Guitar Paradiso here on Anderson's TV. Um, I've got my a special shirt on today because it's it's a bit of a special uh, episode. This um, we are going to shoot out some compressor pedal. Yep. Uh, for slide. Yep. Uh, so we got uh, Mr. Slide Wagon himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Megan Dan, for that one. But a really, really cool thing we're going to unveil today is. Okay, so first, before you, before oh, you uh, do that, yep. uh, we've picked a few compressors here. Um, oh, yep. <laughs> what's that? No, go on. We have a Walrus Deep Six, Wampler Ego Compressor. Yep. Tone City Comp Engine and the new Fender The Benz yeah. compressor. Those that know me, uh, I really haven't had a lot of experience with compressor pedals except one, which ah. is the Origin FX Cali 76. Yeah. That is my jam. Yeah. Um, and today, and you go. So that is why, well, it's, that's not why, but this <laughs> is, we've been, we've been chatting to, uh, to the guys um, for for a little while about doing this special version. So I'm going to open it here. So here's the box. This is what they look like. Uh, Purity of Tone Compact Series Effects Pedals from Origin Effects, right? And we all know these are excellent. Okay? They're very good. So here's what you get. That. Booklet check. A little sticker. Sticker check. check. Some foam. Check. Check. And then Da, 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 da. <laughs> that, my friends, is the Guitar Paradiso Special Edition Cali 76. Yes, bro. Whoa! Yes, that, it's bro. matching you. Isn't that cool? Ah. Check that out. So that's been back and forth. Nice been job, everybody. For a while. So this is really cool. <laughs> uh, so then you can buy these now from Anderson. This is a limited uh, stock of these. This particular one is uh, number two. So if you are, you know, you can actually get this pedal. And the reason why we don't have number one is because I've got that. Oh yeah! Oh Come baby! Because it's it's uh, serial number GP, Del Paradiso, D Woo. for Danis. I would think I don't know. Danis. <laughs> number two. I mean, get them while they're hot. So you might have seen before they've done some other uh, limited stuff, which is they got the English flag on there and other stuff. But this is the acoustic. Oh, sorry. This is the uh, guitar <laughs> parody. So, Origin Effects limited uh, edition. compact edition limited. edition. And you edition. said how many is it? Twenty five. I think there's twenty five at the 25. moment. Yeah. So anyway, so let's start this shootout by um, by plugging all this in. And once we've done that. We're gonna just uh, take you through the pedals and uh, and see what they what they do. So we'll be right back. So we have decided to uh, run these uh, lovely compressor pedal uh, one at the time. From lowest price to highest price. Exactly. So we start with the comp engine from uh, Tone City, which is thirty nine and ninety nine. On the website link is below. Uh, we're running it into a a billion your Daedalus Plus. Yes. Yeah, Ariel's uh, new signature pedalas. Yes. <laughs> by Mythos. Which you can also Mythos buy uh, at Andersons, and the links will be below. So be quick, because again, it's probably going to be limited. You know, kind of a limited thing. Uh, it takes, you know, it's it's a limited thing. Get them. Uh, get them. Get them. Why the hell? But that's it. We're just going to run that before all the compressors. But mainly, we'll be going straight to the amp. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Clean straight in the amp, which is a Fender Blues Junior. Junior. Version four. We Sounds. got this custom shop strat, which is uh, also for sale at the moment. Uh, and this is your clean tone. Nice. I was just zoning out there because it was so nice. I was like, oh, this is nice. So here it comes with the compressor with everything on 12 A o'clock. Ok, 
Okay, so what? So I use a bit of compressor on some of my stuff just to kind of tighten the sound up and keep mm -hmm. it a little bit level, but never for slide. And what we're trying to do today is kind of. So you explain, you know, why is it good to have a compressor pedal when you are doing slide stuff? Well, the advantage to using a compressor with slide is, say it with me, the big S word, sustain. Slide. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> when you get sustained, you can let your notes just ring out and sustain yeah. longer than they usually would without it. Yeah. Um, and Keep what that's essentially going. doing is pushing your signal. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So on this, this is very simple. You've got three knobs. You've got a volume, attack, and compression. So um, let's just, I'll, I'll just twiddle a little bit okay. with the knobbies. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's, it's fairly subtle, you know. Yeah, it's subtle. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of, of squashiness on there, right? No, no. So, but it's $39.99. I what? mean, it's, it's 40 pounds at the moment, uh, which is a bargain for these pedals. So, I mean, that's that. So, let's hear it with a little bit of overdrive. Yes, let's have some overdrive. <laughs> Gain set. I'm going to turn the gain up just a bit. Uh, it's interesting always because with compression, it just takes out a bit of the that sparkle from overdrive. It smoothens, yeah, yeah. It smoothens everything out a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Forty quid. Can't feels, go wrong feels, with that. feels good to play. Okay, but let's move up and see. See, um, and then in the end, we'll see. We'll take the two that you like best and compare them. Absolutely. So let's just switch swap over. Switch swap over. I'll snap my fingers, and then we'll have the next pedal, which is the Fender the Bends. Hey, there we hey. go. So back in the room we are, and now we've got the new Fender the Bends, and this is an. This is how much do you cost? I am ninety six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a really cool feature uh, that it's got this little magnetic great. magnetic for your for your battery. Free battery. Oh. Why? Why isn't? <laughs> Why isn't every pedal like that? I mean, that is really cool. That's so just so, easy. So on. handy, isn't it? And there's no, there's no little locks and no little thing that you can do. You literally ah, just. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it looks I'm like so it's, convenient. <laughs> it looks like he's got a tooth on the one side, just one tooth on yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> So on this pedal, you've got a blend knob between dry and comp, and you've got a level knob on the other side. You've got a drive, and then you've got a fast, slow recovery. Um, and then you got this light, which reminds me a little bit of a light on another pedal. Yes. Not as big though, actually. This is proper big, and it lights up in a similar way. Remind, this is ninety-six pounds. Uh huh. This is pretty damn good. On the top here, you have got lights, so you can have them on if you're on stage. Cool. So if you're on stage and you don't know, oh my god, I can't see where. Where's my? Where's it set? I need to see which. Well, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, if. Um, where's this? Oh, so you don't have to have, I see. No, 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 it's just a, it's just a feature, all of their pedals have that. It's a little cool little feature. It's a cool little thing, why like, not? Like this one where this lights up. You know, and this yeah, one yeah, here, yeah. The, this light will light up, so. Yeah, yeah. Light up, <coughs> light up. Light uh, up, here we go. Let's see what it sounds like. Thank you. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, let's... just just turning it on is is really quiet. Um, and even on twelve o'clock there, you could just you don't nothing really. Nothing. Lo a just a little bit under unity. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so you know, you could take the gains. So, so this is what I really prefer on, Ooh, blend, on knob, a blend, blend knob. knob. In my opinion, every compressor should have that pedal, because you can do your dry signal with sounds like this, and I'll blend into the compressor. <laughs> Maybe a little overdrive just yeah. in here. First without a compressor. Ninety-six pounds, man. You, nice. get a, you get a lot. You, you get, get a lot. lot. There. Uh, I'm finding. I mean, compressors, you know, they get loud and they push a lot of yeah. volume out, and therefore they can get a little noisy once yeah. you're really running them hot. Yeah. Uh, so I was noticing that here, but I mean, that's just the nature I mean, of these pedals. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. Exactly. Dig it. Exactly. So ninety-six quick for that. I'm I'm really impressed with these new range that uh, pedals that Fender designed from the ground up with the with the wizard. Uh, they sat down and literally just started uh, to make a pedal range, you know. With a wizard? Um, with a wizard. Stan the wizard. Stan the wizard uh, has built these up, and that's cool. uh, absolutely gorgeous. Nice job, Fender. Yeah, well nice done on job. these. Uh, nice job. Let's move on to the Eco Compressor. Okay. Yeah? Ready? Yeah. Da! Ah. Hey, man. Ego. How's hey. the ego? How's yours? I've got a mini ego. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've tried this one before. <laughs> okay, sorry. So you tried this before. Yeah. So this is a, a smaller version of the Ego Compressor. Which, so this has got a little fewer knobs, but it's got, instead of having the knobs on it, it's got um, some switchings here, which uh, you, they've set to, to their, what they like. Yeah. You know. uh, let's try everything clean, and I'll just, I'll just put it on when you play. It's got that spanky mm. uh, Nashville telly. The country sound. Yeah, yeah. the country sound, right? Impressive. 
impressive. I like that a lot. That feels good. Familiar. I have tried that one. Yeah. It is impressive. Damn. For such a and like that doesn't take up space on a board, which is great. I mean great. that that is your that's the and you, you got know, a lot of options. Yeah. My only complaint, I guess, if we're like really you know down to it, with that size on the fly, you know, as a working man or woman's pedal on a gig, you know, it's like you need to do something on the fly. Oh, I need to switch. This is on the wrong switch. You know, yeah, you're, if it's, it's in the it's inside, very, it's a little hard to get. It's it's very small here to get at. You know, so hopefully be, everything's set when you're yeah, playing it. That's, yeah, but it's you know it does much more compression than these two. Yeah, they've got more. There's more. Actually, I'd like to squash the overdrive and see how that yeah, is. Yeah, squash it, baby. Here we go. Mm. So without it. <laughs> that on 9 or 18 volts we're running on a 9 at the moment 18 will probably give you more headroom okay so that's an impressive pedal it's 139 pounds cool uh, at the moment links will be below so let's change to the walrus deep six uh, Love. so deep six deep six house tricks walrus Walrus, uh, Walrus Audio. Okay, this this I have never tried. Okay, you've never tried this before? Just never tried this. Okay, sorry, I was just checking the camera upstairs. Upstairs? Up here. Uh, four knobs, uh, blend, again blend. Well, that's what we like to stir. Uh, attack, sustain, and level. Uh, this is clean tone from the strut into the fender. <laughs> Thing I'm noticing, maybe it's just in the room, but there's a warmth. It's a warmth to it. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. immediately louder at, at 12 o'clock, which I like a little bit. Yeah, everything is 12. They've managed to set that at a nice. Yeah, there's no harsh. You go on, on a 12 and it sounds good, right? Yeah. up here so all the way off all the way off
Nice. I don't mind that at all. You like that as well, I can tell. No, I like so that. this is 199 pounds, and the uh, links are of course below. So oh, that I, I is like the that. Deep Six. Now, I know we've got five here, and you said that there's going to be five uh, pedals, but you can't really do it without having one of these styling oh, cards, can we? Bonus this, round. Yeah, it's kind of a bonus round. Just before we, uh, oh, should we do this first, and then throw this in? Whatever you want. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just put that over here. And okay. then uh, let's move on to the uh, guitar parody. So limited edition. To celebrate this one, let's let's high five into it instead of snapping it. Okay. Ready? That. So. Hey. Okay. Here there it is. It is. So, immediately, one thing I really like about this, without even turning it on first, is that it's top-mounted jack sockets. Okay. I cannot stress enough that. Um, that really gotta save space on a battle board. It yeah, really just... I mean, because you get that sort of if you take if you take let's just take even a flat even a flat jack cable. Oh yeah, which is which is quite. If I put that on the side and then have that on the side of another pedal, I'm missing that space, that space in between. Yeah, if you wanna, if you're I a could, guy, I could do or... this. If you're the type of person that fits a lot of stuff on one board, you need to utilize as much space as, as much possible. Space, yeah, so. if you do that with, let's say, three or four different, you know, at the end, you, you are, you're missing a whole space of a pedal. Yeah. You know, and these are, these are good. They're, they're the flat uh, Ernie Ball, which are new as well. Um, but, you know, if you take, if you grab one of those there, which is the, the normal sized one. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> Yeah, so so these ones here, you see, are much much bigger. And that, then it just takes up so it much. It takes space. up space, right? It takes up space. Anyway, so I know you can get flat ones and you can get all this stuff. Top uh, mount jacks. Uh, top mount jacks is uh, is I love that. And, nice and, work. Uh, I understand when you design something like small pedals, it's it's impossible to do. Uh, big pedals are proper. I don't know. It might be something to do with that. But anyway, it's sometimes about like the like the. But it works on the, the wiring on, in, on that inside. Delay. The yeah, but that delay, the up eighty seven. Grab that for a minute. Yep. Top just mount. Grab that up there, please. See, even even with the, even if the with these here, you still they still manage to to top mount it, which means that you can get something next to it, which is just great. Yep. So anyway, on we move. So this is the Cali 76, and you got one of these, right? I do, yes. Yes. This so, is my favorite compressor. This is really... Com compressor. And I have to stop you because that was just oh. immense. And what, you can't feel this. You, you can't. This, this is the best. One of the best things about these yeah, pedals. When you do this, it's just like soft. Oh. It's just soft, and it's like keep. And, doing, when, doing and when you play it, actually, it just it almost swells into it. Has, it. it yes. It's good, isn't it? Uh, so it's, that's home. That's what I. That's what I'm familiar with. Yeah. I think and, we're running at nine volts, right? Yeah, we're running at nine volts. That's fine. Volts. So you can run an 18. So again, you get a higher. Uh, More headroom. Yeah. yeah. And they make so they make different ones. So I don't know if you can see on here. They make um, the the. Well, there's a slide rig. There's a slide rig. Well, there's, first of all, sorry. There's this is the compact deluxe. Yeah. Uh, there's a just the uh, the a, lesser version. Yeah. There's a compact. The, the that's compact, a lock, which is a three slide. knob. Slide rig, yeah, and then there's a slide rig uh, compact, which is a less knobs, yeah, uh, and then there's, there's a, a base. There's one. a base Cali yeah. 76. So, um, which is great. This is the only. This is the most sold one. That's why we got it in the Paradiso edition here. So, I'm gonna because you got one of these. Yeah. I haven't got mine yet. It is. It is here somewhere. <laughs> Actually, 
You just start, set, set some settings and I'll be right back while you play. You play and then okay, play yeah, a bit okay. To be honest, I use it pretty flat. I kind of just use it like this. Come with me. Count to three. Come with me and you'll be... Is that how you run it? More or less, yeah. Wow. I've always run it pretty, I mean, sometimes you can, you can. If I, if I really need that super squashy thing, I just like keeping everything kind of flat on this. The thing about compression wow. with me is I don't like the overly squash thing. No, no, you know? no, it's not too you know, squash, yeah. If I'm playing something funky. Then it's good, like I, it's good for that stuff. But otherwise, especially live, I don't want to really over compress my sound. You know, yeah. it's a great studio tool, and in the studio I use it the most. But you know, if I'm using it live, I'm really running it, like because there is a big difference. <laughs> I also play in tune, but um, yeah. <laughs> in a tune of fish. And just while he does that, what do you got there? What have I got here? I got a number. One. Hello. <laughs> so that's going on that's my right. board. That's right. He has number one. Uh, yes. Uh, I said, I said my, my lucky number is three, but I'd have to have number one on that one, right? Yep. That's what it is. Quick, so, quick little overdrive here. Let's, yeah, let's, let's put some overdrive on it. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. You know, and, and the thing about the Cali, you know, it, it and the, these settings, they don't really take too much away from the actual overdrive. Yeah. It just enhances it. Yeah. It's just great, isn't it? Mine. It is oh. just great. Now, okay, so we're just going to throw this in this banner because, you know, it, the Dynacomb has been around for absolutely ever. Mm. It's one of the most, uh, I can imagine it's most, one of the most sold compressor yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is their mini version of it. Uh, and it's got... Um, Okay, so let's just try to uh, let's just try to pop that in okay. the chain, and we'll be back. Oh, let's let's snap it. Yeah. So uh, yeah. let's just hear this really quick. Uh, this one is about two hundred and sixty-nine mm. quid. So you know it is it is uh, in the there is there is a um, uh, Keely one which is two ninety-nine. So the, it's that in the top range of of, yeah. uh, of compressors. Okay, with so, that. So here we go with that. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's the attack. I mean, for 114 pounds. I've never tried one of those. They're good, right? To be honest, they're, so they do that's three, really nice. They do three versions. They do the normal Dynacomp, which is about 94, 96 pounds. They're about 140, 14 for that one. And then they do a, the uh, script version, which is 146 pounds at the mm. moment, um, which, which is like model on the old one. So, I mean, Very just cool. throwing that in because it is one of the most uh, used compressors. Man, these uh, are all really good. Oh, good, uh, aren't they? I mean, mean, it depends on, you know, do you need, you know, attack release ratio, cut in and out, in and out, whatever you comes in. Yeah. Do you want it to do 18 volts? Do you not want it to do 18 volts? Do you need something that uh, is a small size? You know, do you want something that does this, does that, you know? Yeah, what, mean, it com what it comes down to for me, uh, it's not price. You know, if you're on a budget, at the end of the day, compression's compression. And it does one thing. Um, the higher on the scale you go, you know, more options you might get. Um, for me, it's a feel thing. So it's not how it sounds, but how it feels when you're playing it. Yeah. Um, so like the way it feels when the, the Cali 76 I'm playing through, it's like driving the Tesla. Yeah. If, if I, <laughs> I never probably will know what that feels like, but. No, you will, because I'm going to buy one. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> In another life. <laughs> so if I, if I had to pick one or two, if I had to pick two, I'd say the Cali and the deep six okay interesting. those are my favorite those are yeah. my favorite feeling but ones. you are the you're the one that are, are feeling it so and i've just listened yeah. to it i must yeah, say yeah as a the listener, Kelly, what would you say kelly i like uh, you know i like these are very subtle they're both very subtle yeah. but i probably i mean these three yeah one two two but here's the thing i like them all and i'm not just yeah. saying that i know it's just like i'm not just saying that i truly yeah. Did not dislike one of them. There's something about that, though, isn't there? Not that it's there's... a current guitar parodies or special edition, but that's no. just something. It helps, but it's. Uh... They've got that right, man. They've just got that right it's a, it's for a, me. It's like a studio rack compressor. You know, it, yeah, that's what it feels and sounds like when you turn it on. But you can't go wrong with any of these. And on nope. that note, I'm going to plug one in down here. Yes. And then we're going to have a jam out, right? Yes. What do you think about that? I think that I'd like that. Good. Let's do that. See you next time. Thank you for watching uh, Guitar Paradiso. <laughs> Links below for the Cali 76 Guitar Paradiso Limited Edition pedal. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Anderson's TV. See you next Please time. subscribe to all of our channels. Bye.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.